Hallo und herzlich willkommen zurück zu The Wolf Among Us mit Episode 4, damit auch der vorletzten Episode. Also ein bisschen haben wir noch vor uns im Schafspelz. Und ja, was ist so passiert? Ähm, Bixby hat gegen die Tweedle-Zwillinge äh, gekämpft, weil die Ikebot haben wollten. Dann kam Bloody Mary und... Wir haben uns dann in einen Wolf verwandelt, also komplett, und haben die Tweedle-Brüder gut zugerichtet, haben sie aber nicht getötet. Ähm, haben einiges an Schrot abbekommen, was uns nicht unbedingt aufgehalten hat. Und Bloody Mary hat uns dann eine Kugel in den Rücken gejagt, die gereicht hat, um uns auszuschalten. Hat uns den Unterarm gebrochen und hat Igebot Crane mitgenommen, weil Snow White dann auf den Deal eingegangen ist, damit Big B lebt. Und jetzt bin ich echt gespannt, was in der vierten Episode passiert. Und ich würde sagen, wir starten auch direkt äh, ja, in die vierte Episode. Hm, scheint mir wieder relativ gut zu gehen. Ich wollte eigentlich noch was zu Bigby selbst sagen. Alter, ach so. Wahrscheinlich, als er hier hingebracht wurde. Der war ja ziemlich im Arsch. See around. Jetzt hat er auch noch Albträume von mir. Ah. Hollow Point Bullets are a nasty business. The Silver Slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay though. Hm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. Oh, baby. We can't keep meeting this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart. How bad is it? No, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Bigby, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Alles klar. Dann machen wir das doch. Sieht schon ein bisschen äh, lecker aus, muss ich sagen. Also ist schon. Alter, ich hab doch noch gar nicht richtig gedrückt. See now, that wasn't so difficult, was it? Oder gerade das Anfang, ey. Meine Güte, lass mich doch mal ein bisschen. You're probably better off. This way I won't have to reset it later. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. You know, I can't hear you. Quiet. Just relax. Hallo, ich bin auch hier. Alter. Aber auch gut Blut überströmt, die Gute. Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I could do this with my optic nerve severed. <laughs> we'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> There. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Also was doch silver, okay. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty. 
If he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I can still hear you. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? <laughs> Swiney? Und der Doktor ist weg. Gucken, ob wir gleich ein kleines ruhiges Momentchen haben, damit ich mal was über ihn noch erzählen kann. So, how do you um, feel? Großartig. It's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See, strong as an oak, this guy. I'm glad you're not dead. Ja, ich you, auch irgendwie. Uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or or died, I guess. It um it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swinehart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were Snow. I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <laughs> Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? The Crooked Man, Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder him. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. What else could Snow do? If she didn't hand him over, my ass would be down the witching well. And Crane still would have been taken. Okay, okay, I'll take your word for it. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a... Loan Shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. I'm trying It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Remember what Swinehart said, okay? The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Das wird schwierig. War is driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. 
This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice... We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Do you believe him? Yeah, I do. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, <sighs> Connor. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. Look, everyone just calm down, all right? I'm perfectly calm. No, that's I'm not. Anders. Tell me right now, what's it gonna be, Bigby? Wolf's residence. That's rude. <laughs> oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Mein Unrecht hat sie ja nicht. Yes, who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. I haven't the slightest. Okay. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Eigentlich ist das gelogen. Ich kann es mir vorstellen. Probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. <lacht> She's a piece of work. Das Schweinchen, ey. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it, but I can still hang out here. Look, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. Außerdem können wir immer noch sagen, wir haben ein Hausschwein. Ist doch auch geil. Hat nicht jeder. Das hat nicht jeder. Das ist die Farm. Ich würde die gerne mal sehen. Es wäre cool, wenn wir da mal hingehen würden. Das soll ja eigentlich kein Gefängnis. Das soll ja eigentlich ein schöner Ort sein. Aber das hört sich alles ein bisschen anders an. Bin ich erstmal gespannt, was sie von uns will. So, <lacht> genau. Jetzt läuft ja hier gerade das Intro. Der Big B, ich habe ja, wie gesagt, hat sich in der letzten... Äh, äh, letzten Episode schon mal gesagt, ich habe ein bisschen mir das mal durchgelesen und Bigby ist ja der große böse Wolf, das wissen wir, aber der ist ziemlich krass, der raucht ja relativ viel und das macht er aber auch aus einem ganz bestimmten Grund, ähm, der hat einfach so ein krasses Geruchsvermögen, dass er durch das Rauchen versucht, das einzudämmen, oder so gut es geht halt, ähm, ja, ja, einzudämmen, was aber auch nicht immer klappt und der ist wohl auf den Geruch von äh, Schneewittchen, von Snow White, äh, so gesehen markiert und kann sie halt einfach nicht vergessen und kann an ihrem Geruch auch erkennen, wie es ihr geht und solche Geschichten. Alles ziemlich interessant. Aber wir werden jetzt erstmal gucken, was in Episode 4 im Schafspelz abgeht. Hi, Sheriff. Hi. Hi, Nerissa. Have a seat. Geiles Büro. Aber was will sie genau hier? Also vorstellen könnte es mir schon, dass es was damit zu tun hat mit der ganzen Sache, aber. Are you okay? 
You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> Coffin puffs. <laughs> Not many people smoke those. Aber wir schon. Thanks. You can start talking. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. <sighs> it... Might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. And you have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Hmm. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now, they're gone. And I don't know what to do. Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. Who are you talking about? Are my friends in danger? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... Come on, just talk. Einfach das, was sie kann, am besten. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Huh? Do you like it? Hmm. Do you? It was. It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Is this so einfach? But what if man sie einfach abnimmt? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back. You can't do that. Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Okay, irgendwas wird wahrscheinlich dann passieren. Please. Keine Ahnung. Don't. Der Kopf explodiert oder. Außerdem, ich habe ja nur gefragt, warum geht er gleich hin? Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. Schulterklöpferchen läuft. <lacht> das muss aber reichen. If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. What are you worried about? Just Please don't say anything. S 
Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. But wait, you don't have to go. Oh, doch, ich glaube, sie muss. That was abrupt. That's one way to send a message. <laughs> what did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? Ah, ich habe doch noch was gedrückt. Okay then. Good work. Aber wir haben ja auch so about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the crooked man? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? Könnte schon sein. I have other matters to attend to. Könnte schon sein, dass sie den krummen Mann meinte. Weiß ich nicht.